up you can <laughs> anyway all right so if you watched my first video my first video I talked about my how I do my hair how I do my makeup you know how I prep my face um, my nails don't, don't look at my nails right now look like crap um, one of the things I mentioned was my hair um, I my photo my, my video editor is being really stupid right now I don't know what's going on with it but I did have some clips ready to go to show my hair before and after before my hair was like this awkward reddish brown. It looked like shit. I'll be honest. Oh, another thing. Ooh, before I go any further, if you get offended by foul language or you get offended by certain humorous things, don't watch my videos. I don't want any negative comments on my language when I just warned you in the very beginning of my video that I have a bad mouth. Like pretty much speech people, I I I just I just let it go. Okay. Let it go, let it go. But anyway, so what I was going to talk about was, so ever since I was 14, I've been dyeing my hair. I know it's bad. I'm not recommending that little 13-year-old girls watching this video you know, dye their hair. I believe you're beautiful no matter what. But obviously I don't because I damaged the shit out of my hair. Uh, but I've used Quick Time, I've used uh, Quick Blue, I've used Flash, I've used Oil L'Oreal. You know, so sometimes I feel like going to beauty school just to get the DM license so I can get the really good shit, but uh, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna pay $8,000 for a stupid license. So I kind of left my hair alone for a while because I knew Quick Blue wasn't gonna work on my hair. My hair was really hard to take. And so I was at Sally's the other day. Imagine that. And the girl suggested this stuff. It's a blonde brilliance. It's it is brilliant, love. It is very brilliant. I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm just I'm being humorous. Okay, people, don't don't get offended. So this is a developer. This is the powder. What's really nice about this is, in a sense, it's really inexpensive. the The powder is fifteen dollars, and the developer I think was five dollars, but. I've used this, I've done my hair twice already, and I still have a lot left. Like I could seriously do a couple couple more damaging sessions to my hair, so I, I'm gonna put it. But my take on this, it works really well. Especially if you if you look at my hair, I still have a little bit of reds in there. But after two times, people, you gotta understand that when I've used stuff before, it's never taken to my hair. It's turned out orange, it's turned out crappy, it's turned out like really over processed, really nasty looking. And this actually made my hair blonde. It after two sessions, and yes, I did use foils. You know, I can make a video that shows you how to use foils. Um I just also people I just I just straighten my hair really quick for the videos because it's not normally how I, I do my hair. Okay. So don't don't make fun of my hair. But it was pretty amazing. It I feel did a pretty good job. i I'm gonna do one more session because I, I really want that I really want that that pretty blonde I just I want to fit my character so a lot of people say God are you blonde you sure as hell act blonde but um it doesn't give you <laughs> it really give you advice on how much to add I know when I first got this I went on YouTube I looked at a couple videos to find out how much do I add and a lot of people were like oh we just guesstimate well, what I found works really well and I actually had to throw it away because my daughter destroyed it um, they, Sally's has these bowls, these bowls that have numbers in them. And for my ladies out there, I have no idea what that means. Those are the ounces. So on here, it actually says one ounce of this to 1.5 of this. Okay. I, I'm not a mathematician. I, I don't, I can't just feel and say, oh my God, that's an ounce. No, I, I, no, I, I, I want something to show me. It's an ounce. So I found this really cool bowl that actually has, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can pour the developer in until the, you know, the one and a half or two or whatever you're trying to achieve, however much. It's just use simple math then. Six teaspoons equal an ounce of powder form. So remember that six teaspoons, so six teaspoons of the powder will be equal to 1.5 in the bowl. Just not being a smart ass, I'm just trying to make it more sensible because I couldn't find a video where these girls actually describe that. I'm like sitting there like, 
Will you freaking tell me how much to add? Show me. I'm not going to make some, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that helps you. Um, when I put it in, I noticed that if my hair takes a lot to get it to process, I'm telling you right now to avoid what they call a meltdown. It's where your hair actually I've had it happen to me. So I can tell you right now, it can't happen. It's where when you leave the bleach in for too long, it'll actually make your hair super gummy. It'll, it'll literally fall out and it'll be like gum consistency. It's, it's no joke. There's actually a video on YouTube. If you look up hair bleaching fails, it's like the fifth video down. That's what can happen. This stuff is really, really, really strong. Like I'm, I'm actually really surprised they allow you to get this without a license because it's actually really strong. Um, I only used a 15. If it's an on the scalp, you only use up to a 15 developer. You don't want to do 20 or 25 because it will burn the crap out of your scalp. Going higher with the developer isn't always the best. Sometimes you just need a 15 or sometimes you just need a 10 or you just need a 20. Don't say, oh God, oh, they have a 40. I'm going to use a 40. I can't get the 50 because I don't have a license, but I'm going to do the 40. Maybe maybe you'll get lighter the first time. No, 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 no. It's, it's, <laughs> you're going to have a meltdown. So I left it on for 20 minutes with my foils. No, do not add heat. Oh my God, do not add heat. There was a girl on here that did a video when she added heat and she had a meltdown. It started getting gummy like crap. So you don't want to add heat to this. There's metallics in it. You just don't want to do that. I left it on for 20 minutes. And I was really surprised by the results. I was like, holy crap, it's not even orange, it's actually blonde. Um, when I did my second session, I left on for only 10 minutes. And I'm gonna do a third one here in a couple of days when I do a couple more treatments and I'll make another video of that result. But there's no orange. It's It's got its own toners in it. Um, it's got, let's see, let's, maybe you could probably get the bottle read it yourself, but I'll read it for you. It's an extra strength, extra moisture. It's got some oil. It's got some really good oil to oil. oil to, oh my God. It's got some really good oils in it. It's got the carotene. It's got coconut oil. It's got tree oil. It's got olive oil. It's got a bunch of stuff in it that's going to keep your hair from looking like someone did this. Okay. I, I know that there's been times where I develop my hair and afterward it seriously looks like this. I'm like, what the hell happened? Like, my hair is, is jacked up. It, it looks horrendous. And I, if anyone says that this looks good, <laughs> I wouldn't be jazzed. It does not look good. But you know what I mean. Like your hair will look like you were put to bed wet. So you just you still want a nice deep conditioner afterward. Um, I use Garnier Fructis. That's a really good one. Or I'll just use mayonnaise. In my first video, I told you guys that mayonnaise works really good. It's got it's got protein in it that helps the hair. It's got uh, the egg whites which help with the shine. It's got olive oil in it. It's got it's got good stuff in it, and it, it works really good too as a deep conditioner for around the house. Um, but yeah, the blonde Bur brilliance, man. It, it's it's an express nine level so most most of your bleach that you'll get like in the packets um they're seven or six level they don't go up to a nine um usually when you get into the 10 level you gotta have a license i know because i've tried to get past it I tried to try to pass pass myself off as a beautician <laughs> that not work they're smart um just careful because the stuff is is really 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 strong um if you have virgin hair i would suggest leaving it on virgin okay for my people who don't know because you know i was the same way i had no idea what they meant by virgin hair virgin hair is when you've never dyed your hair never dyed your hair and never put any kind of color into it nothing okay if you have that kind of hair if you have virgin hair you want to leave it on for 10 minutes check it and if it looks white take a damn shower okay don't don't say oh, let's see if i can get it whiter i want to look like a california girl no don't don't do that 
please. I, I don't want to see an epic fail video of you on here along with that girl. <laughs> that was, ooh, that was bad. Like you guys really, after you're done with my video, you should really check out that video. <laughs> it was gnarly. Um, so yeah, a lot of brilliance, man. It's, it's brilliant love. It really is brilliant. It's lovely stuff. I liked it. I really did. Um, so if you guys, if you guys, you know, have any suggestions on something you want me to try or review, maybe you have questions, but you're kind of afraid to purchase it. I'm, I'm, I'm not scared. I have no fear. I'll, I'll try it as long as it doesn't cost $200. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, people, I'm not going to pay $200 to just review a product. If it's a makeup, nail polish, new hair stuff or something like that. And you write me a comment and just say, Hey, Try this. I, I I'm curious to know what, what you think about it. I'll I'll, I'll sure as I'll do it. Yeah, let me know. I'm interested. Help me with some of my videos. Help me with some of my videos. Hey, that's what this is all I could do. And hopefully I'll have this video editor fixed so that um, my videos can look badass because uh, it's really making me mad that I just have to use my regular camera. All right. So obviously you love me enough to watch my second video. Hopefully you love me enough to subscribe or like my video and hopefully go on to the 31. That'd be great people. All right, well again, I just wanna thank our troops that are being deployed over to Iraq and uh, God bless America. Love your face. Bye-bye.